Okay guys, today we have a BMW door panel. This is off of a 96, I believe, dot 318i. So, all of these are plastic pieces. They all, uh, they all break pretty, pretty easy. This is how it came off the door. Um, I'm gonna try and plastic weld it today. Uh, and uh, show you a little bit more how plastic welding's done. This is uh, our shop, Lux Auto Custom. Uh, we do pretty much anything. This is the welding section, uh, fabricating everything. Everything from motorcycles, custom lifts, custom cars, sound system. This is a upholstery section. Uh, this is a bug getting completely redone. There's Tony there doing custom sound systems custom interior work pretty much everything you could think of uh, and Tony's pretty good at his job so let's get back to it uh, my uh, my gun here so should have been warmed up by now so all I'm gonna do one plastic welding so uh, first of all get a good solid table to work on so I'm going to set everything to where it's designed to go. Set it in there as best I can. Without it moving. I'm going to send a little, little tack weld into the corner so it'll stop moving on me. Okay, you're basically just passing it over, fusing the two plastics together uh, in a sweeping motion. Kind of fill it in. Now you can use other fillers, other pieces of plastic. They kind of have to match this style of plastic that's in here already. Uh, they don't have to be exact. I'm just a little sweeping motion, same as you would with a regular weld. So you can get a good filler bead there. So now that I have the rough structure of how it goes, take it to an area I can work in a little better. As you can see, that's actually holding on there already. Okay. All right, as we wait for the uh, hot glue gun to heat up, uh, just to reiterate, what I did here is I did a sweeping motion side to side, uh, and that penetrates inside. Um, remember the crack uh, goes all the way through, obviously you're only repairing the top. Uh, but as you see, everything is form fitting. It fits perfect. Uh, I've welded here uh, as well as in here. Uh, just keep uh, applying a little pressure to it just uh, so it makes contact. And go ahead and glue the corners. Uh, just making sure it touches both sides. Uh, if you're only grabbing one side, it's, it's realistically it's not going to hold. Thank you. Ese le, le podemos poner allá en el otro, en el otro panel. Sorry guys. Uh, I apologize, I'll try to edit most of this out. Um, they come and ask questions and stuff like that. We all work here, it's a pretty good team, so. That's part of the job. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I should do a sweeping motion back and forth. Uh, it's kind of like a sideways weld. Uh, and what that does is that cuts into the plastic. It's going to leave a little groove, so which in turn is going to weaken it. I'll go ahead and fill that back in uh, with some of that extra plastic there. It's a pretty solid, pretty solid weld. That that internal hold right there, but we're just gonna fill it in a little bit more just to make sure the, the client's happy. It's a good customer, a good friend of ours. You just wanna be careful not to hit your finger or nothing. Uh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. I believe this thing burns at 16 or 1700 degrees. So one little tap on your finger and 
you're gonna know it. There's Tony back over there with his uh, sound systems again. Doing a, a test on it. All right, so now that we've passed everything through, we're gonna go ahead and, like I showed you before, smooth it over. Nobody's gonna see this, so it doesn't have to look as pretty. So if you're just starting to learn how to do it, not a big deal. But uh, if you're gonna do it right, uh, I go ahead and fill everything back in, just so the, I don't know, I guess peace of mind, it looks better for me. Okay, so there's two different styles of uh, plastic welding that I'm using here. Uh, well, this is basically a soldering gun that I've made a tip for. This is an actual uh, plastic welder. Uh, but it, it, you have to be a little bit farther away from the item due to the length of it. And it heats up a lot faster, which is good in some times, uh, bad in the others. But for this particular area, I need a, I need a high temperature. Make sure the area is closed as best as we can. And slowly pull it in. But because it's so long, like I said, it's a little harder to, to work with. I'm going to switch back to the other one. 